Yo, what's good with y'all? What's up to everyone watching the premiere right now? What's good? Today's video, I got the how to make a skill slash ability hot bar. Um, yeah, that's really all you would call it a hot bar and stuff. I've definitely had this requested for months and stuff. Finally getting to it. I plan to also include this in my how to make a battleground series. Plan to integrate this into the uh that series, probably part two or part three, one of the two. But yes, yeah, so pretty much I'm sure you guys the um basically just setting up the making the ui and setting it up so you can have ability the name of the ability as well as like you know the key bind and stuff um this is part one right so depending on how much love the video gets i can definitely tell what a part two if you guys want me to show you guys how to set up like skills where players can get skills and then it gets added to the um the actual ui itself so i can show you guys and go more in depth all depends on how much love for the video and stuff um thank you guys for all the love and support you're on the channel Recently, I really do appreciate it. We're already on our way to 5,000 subscribers. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and go ahead and set up the UI before we get into the um before we get into the scripting. So before we do that, let's in, let's go ahead and knock out our remote event. So let's insert a remote event into replicated storage. We're gonna name set remote event. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do hot bar. Do hot bar event, right? I'm, I'm gonna capitalize you yeah, just capitalize that anyway so then let's head on over to starter gui and insert a screen gui we're gonna name set screen gui hot bar gui you want to disable reset on spawn let me just okay have to double check anyway so yeah we're gonna reset disable reset on spawn right we're going to insert a oh sorry we're gonna insert a frame and then you guys are gonna want to rename this to uh hot bar frame so hot bar frame then i'm gonna show you guys i have all the properties set up here i have a p stands for position s stands for size so um <clears throat> so i have everything here so you guys can just copy and paste what i'm doing so for the frame i mean it's up to you guys for for you know the positioning and sizing but here's what i here's, here's what i did if you're interested so yeah so that's the position i went with the sizing zero zero comma five hundred comma zero comma one hundred right so then for the sizing boom right it stretches out then you want to set the background transparency equal to one right because you don't need it you just want to see the uh text labels then i'm going to insert a ui grid layout so it meant it uh, automatically scales and sizes everything all the uh ui elements we put so all the text labels inside then for the uh pro for the cell size it's zero comma sixty zero i mean zero comma sixty comma zero comma fifty throw that into the size right and then let's insert a text label into the frame so you're going to want to insert a text label right and then some basic customization you're going to want to set the background transparency to like again it's up to you guys i'm just making this based off of what i've seen like the strongest background i want to see basing it after the strongest background it's from being real with y'all yeah so it's like kind of dark black like a black grayish color to the transparency to 0 0.5 so you can see halfway through it, but you can still see the black color right and then of course we're going to name the text label ability then you're gonna put the number so ability one text label we're gonna make three more you guys can make as many as you want but i'm just gonna make four total but first we're gonna make this one so then we can just duplicate it so save ourselves a lot of time a lot of work so we're gonna name this ability one text label right and then you're gonna set the text equal to bold rich text scale text you can delete the text no need for any placeholder text will be uh handling that via the uh script so then you can set the text to white if you want it's up to you guys right and the text stroke and all that then you're going to want to insert a text label into the text label and so this is the actual number or the key bind i should say for for the ability then here <clears throat> then here it is the position zero comma five comma zero comma negative 20 so let's go up here so this position right so it's going to be a little above it number of course the size is going to be zero comma 50 comma zero comma 25 boom right above it right then for background transparency set it to one we don't want no we don't want any any type of background so text equal to bold text skill rich text like i said i'm making it just like the strongest background but it's up to you guys for however you want to do it so then i'm going to make it one um don't want to, don't want the text to be white mm, i mean hmm, let's see how does this look i mean it looks pretty nice but yeah so you guys can set it so you guys can set it just like that right and then you're going to want to name the text label ability mm, you could do ability one yeah actually yeah, yeah, yeah. it's probably better for organization so ability one key bind text label right boom then you're simply just going to duplicate this so control d remember since we have a ui grid layout it automatically you know it'll move it over for you so you don't have to worry about position about putting about uh moving it over um 
you don't have to worry about moving it over or spacing or anything so just control d control d or uh home and duplicate up here so do that as many times as you want then of course you need to rename everything right or like the the new ones you created or duplicated i should say so we're gonna name that to ability two ability two just a couple things we got to change um and then uh for the text remember you're set you're setting the key bind here if you guys don't want to do numbers and you instead wanted to do um like actual you know like letters you know like uh wasd or zx whatever then you guys can do that it's completely up to you guys this is just how i'm setting it up right so then we change the text on this i mean the name ability three did i update this one okay i did then for this ability four text table and ability four keybind then text four boom right and just like that we have all of our uh we could say you know ability ui setup right it looks pretty nice you know so then we can get into the actual scripting so we can close this out or sorry, you can close the frame, but not the UI. You're gonna to want to insert a local script into the hotbar GUI. So let's insert a local script. You guys can name this script hotbar GUI. I'm sorry, not hotbar GUI. Hotbar script and then parentheses put local, right? We're gonna to want to delete print hello world. Let's create a variable for our hotbar remote event. So let's say local hot bar event is equal to game that replicated storage wait for child hot butter hot bar event this is actually the only variable we need to create well like outside of the function now we can get into the actual um function so oh we sorry sorry we, sorry, we need to create a variable for the hot bar gui i'm thinking of the server script okay so let's do local hot bar gui is equal to script at that parent because we put the local local script inside of the um ui or if you wanted you could also do like game the players that uh, local player dot hot bar i mean dot player gy dot hot bar i mean i don't know why you'd want to do all that but yeah so once you have all that right then we can set up the function we can say hot bar event that on client event connect sorry function parentheses you're going to put event type comma arg one comma arg two short for argument number one argument number two all right we're going to be passing over some information so the the name of the ability so we know to um so the name of the ability is going to be uh whatever text label we're trying to update. So if it's if it's ability one, then we're updating ability one text label and then the, the new value. And the value is going to be the name of the, okay, I know this sounds confusing. Okay, okay, let me create, let me type it out and then explain it, okay. So I'm gonna say if event type is equal to, we're gonna say hot bar update, right? And then press enter, then you're going to create two variables first, local ability name is equal to argument one and local ability value is equal to argument number two. So ability name is just generally like the ability number. I probably should honestly say ability number. That would probably be better to really to do like ability number. That would honestly probably be better. Not going to lie. But think of this more as like an ability number, right? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out like this. It's going to say ability dot 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 and then a number right so if it's like this ability one then i'm referring then i'm referring to ability one text label right that's the ability name that's how we're going to which text label to update ability value however is going to be the actual text value we're changing oh sorry yeah, yeah right here the actual text value we're changing right here so if the ability is called i don't know uh i don't know black flash right then it's going to update it's going to update the text for the uh whatever ability text label right so that's pretty much how it works just to generally explain in case anybody was confused on how it works then i'm going to use a for loop so i'm going to say for i comma v in pairs then i'm going to say hot bar sorry not hot bar event hot bar gui that hot bar frame get children enter you're going to say if v first we need to make sure it is a text label then we're going to say and v dot name is equal to ability name dot 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 quotation marks text label because it's only going to come out to ability and then the, the number so we need to also we can't forget the text label at the end right then enter and you're going to say v dot text is equal to ability value which is the name of the ability right again i know a little confusing now we can move on to the server side so we can close that out and we can insert a server script into server script service you guys can go ahead and name this script hot bar script and in parentheses put server you're going to delete print hello world we're going to create one variable for the remote event so we're going to say local hot bar event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child hot bar event right then i'm going to say hot bar event 
I'm gonna say, oh sorry, I'm gonna say game dot players dot player added connect function in parentheses put plr short for the player enter. Then we're gonna set up the ability folder. It's gonna store all of our ability uh, values. So we're gonna say local ability folder is equal to instance dot new folder. We're gonna parent it to the player, and then I'm gonna say ability folder dot name is equal to ability folder right enter then i'm going to set up a for i loop i'm going to say for i is equal to one comma four comma one enter so keep in mind this is the amount of abilities you're going to have so if you're going to have like eight if you're going to have like eight of these then you would change the number four to eight just so y'all know right so th then we're going to say local ability it just saves this time instead of having to type out ability one ability one ability two ability three you just save this time by automating it like this so we're going to say local ability is equal to instance dot new uh, sorry, not text table. String value. Then you're of course going to parent it to the ability folder. You're going to say ability dot name is equal to quotation marks ability dot 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 i, which will be the number. So it'll be like ability one, ability two, ability three, ability four. You know. Then we're going to say ability dot changed connect function close parentheses enter. This is so that whenever the the uh value updates, like whenever a player gets a skill or whatever way your game. Gives a player skill changes skill whatever it's going to update it's going to fire the, the remote event to the client so we're going to say hop our event fire client to that specific player comma in quotation marks put a hot bar update then put comma you're going to put ability dot name sending over the, the ability name first then ability dot value and boom just like that let's go ahead and test to make sure it works as always if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description Let's go ahead and test. You guys should definitely join the Discord server. We're, I'm almost at like 1.5 thousand members. So you guys, you have the ability folder, ability one, ability two, ability three, ability four. So if I set my ability one's value to, um, uh, that's like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you won't see it on the server because it's the server side. But if I switch to client, you see ability one. That's crazy. You guys see how it popped up here? So yeah. Like I said, if you guys want part two, just show this video mad love and I got y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Leave, leave a like and subscribe if you, if you enjoyed. If you need help, join the Discord server. Link is in the description and I can help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.